informational pre-write make a bubble map you will need a pencil construction paper or printed bubble map and an electronic device what are we writing learning intention Writers use their plan to pre-write. Success criteria. I will create a bubble map using my table of contents and central idea. Making a plan. So today I'm going to show you how to use your plan to pre-write because it's important to stay focused when you begin to work on drafting your informational text. The plan that we're going to use is called a bubble map. Many times writers plan their writing out using graphic organizers. Here's the bubble map that we'll be using. Notice that it has headings. So this is for each part or section of your, of your writing. And then it has a place for your topic and central idea. We've been learning about organizing our informational text and staying focused on our central idea as we draft our supporting ideas. Let's take a look at heading one on my bubble map. My first section is about water. Water. The water is the most important thing that you will need when you go swimming. You can swim in a lake, a river, or even the ocean. The best place to swim, to go swimming, is in a swimming pool. Now, when I wrote that, I realized that my reader might want to know why the best place to go swimming is a swimming pool. So I added here in red because the water is clear and the temperature can be controlled. Let's look at my next section, swimsuits. We also need to reread what we have written to make sure that everything we've written supports our central idea or our promise. Swimsuits. You can splash around in the water with your clothes on, but if you really want to swim, you need a swimsuit. Boys can wear trunks, jammers, or briefs. Girls can wear a one-piece or a two-piece. Now, let's look at my completed bubble map. Did I keep my promise? So here's my promise. When you go swimming, there are a few things that I need. So I added a heading about caps, and I wrote about caps. And then I added a heading about goggles and I wrote about goggles. Again, I also need to reread what I've written to make sure that everything I've written supports my central idea. Let's look at our checklist. So today we're going to look at our checklist and ask ourselves, did I write my topic and central idea, which is the middle part of the bubble map? Did I write each heading, which is four parts or four sections of your writing? Did I write each section with facts and details? So add details and facts to the circles in each section. And then after you finish, you're going to ask yourself, did I read over each section of my bubble map to make sure that everything I've written supports the central idea? Today, during independent writing, you will create your bubble map. Use the checklist as you complete your bubble map. Upload your bubble map as an assignment.